Good morning, Douglas. Good morning, Barbie. All right, so a question has been asked how I convert these passenger cars to from six-wheel to four-wheel trucks. And uh, it's uh, very similar to what I did to replace the trucks on some of these River Aussie cars with the uh, new uh, Walther's six-wheel trucks. But uh, So it's just a little different for the four-wheel. If you ever look at the pictures and the diagrams and stuff for these uh, heavyweight cars with the four-wheel trucks, the, uh, the center line of the... Uh, truck is a little bit different than the uh, the original center line so what we have right here is you can see the hole where the original six wheel truck and they're offset the way they uh, mount the six wheel trucks and then here's where I have the new hole drilled and I've inserted three three uh, sets of uh, uh, evergreen tubing in there the, the size goes from a larger size to give you something for the truck to uh, sit on as a bolster when the uh, new trucks installed and then the uh, two one's telescoped into the middle of it, give it a small hole to uh, cause it to uh, have something to keep the truck at the right height. So basically you get three tubes of uh, evergreen styrene here. And uh, if you don't know this, with evergreen, for every uh, number tube that they have, the next number up is designed to fit inside the previous number tubing. So you can buy like three numbers in a row and you'll get three sets of tubing and each one will fit inside the next set. So you can do some kind of telescoping with them if you want or telescoping. So here we see a six wheel truck on this baggage car. These are all Atherns right here, the older Atherns types, not River Rossi, but they have a very similar design on bottom of them. Here's a, another truck that I have already done the conversion on. So you can see the center line spacing compared to the six wheel spacing these are the same length cars so the uh, four wheel trucks sit a little bit farther inboard or in towards the center than the six wheel truck they have a little bit more clearance and then here it is after i've actually installed it now the only thing i haven't done here is i haven't sanded this flush to the same height as the old uh, truck mounting hole but i'll do that here later on i just wanted to get you an update how it goes and then you just basically put the new in this case i'm using these Walther's eight foot wheelbase four wheel trucks and uh, you can see here there's two types of uh, mounting uh, bolsters that come with them and, and basically the one that they come with you have to take that off and put the, uh, the alternate one here which gives it a little bit of a neck up so it sits properly when it's mounted on. So that should answer the question on that. Uh, I can answer more questions like that because I know sometimes I'm not real descriptive of what I'm actually doing.